Hello everyone and welcome back to KSP with the two rocket guys. This is E, and after an, ex an extended hiatus, I am back with you in version 0.21 with a fresh start in KSP. Now everything from before is gone, sadly, but I've gone ahead and re-downloaded all the mods plus some that we were using before. I've uh, basically recorded all of this off camera, or uh, not live if you will, and uh, this is my second attempt at Keythane. Enjoy. Now here we are. I've uh, gone ahead and placed a few of these small satellites, small detectors for Keythane in uh, lunar orbit. Now, as you can see, I've uh, been doing some work off camera, but we've been trying to find exactly where all the deposits of Keythane are so we can get out there and start mining this stuff. So without further ado, Let's get to it. Now what you see here is the uh, the first miner that I initially launched. I've used uh, basically a combination of designs that I've seen from other YouTube personalities that play Kerbal Space Program. I've kind of put them together and tweaked a few things to make it work for, for me. Um, this was one of three different miners that I actually launched to the moon. And uh, they're all used to fuel a, a station and a refinery that will be in orbit around uh, the moon, which I'll show you here in a bit. And with this successful landing of the first miner, we turn on the drills and we let it start scooping up that key thing. Now, meanwhile, we are launching um, the basically the centerpiece of the station that I told you about, uh, along with a miner towards uh, the moon. Now after settling the station into orbit and sending the third out of three miners back to the surface, I thought I'd uh, pull Jeb out of the uh, station here, give you guys a fly around just so I can kind of explain what's going on and uh, my idea for all of this design. Now as you can see here, we're using solar power. I've got uh, some pretty good capacity for the batteries going on and that's going to be used just to kind of store power when the, uh, the converters aren't being actively used. Um, so there's five docking ports here and the way I see this happening is I will eventually later on in this video attach two separate storage nodes I guess is the best way to call it to the station um, basically big containers for keythane to actually store the residual keythane that's here or that's brought up from the surface now the other three docking ports will be used to service all three uh, of the miners to potentially come up at the same time if needed to dock to the station, uh, convert enough fuel for the miners to actually get back down to the surface safely, and then store the rest of the mined keythane on the station in order to provide you know, fuel for 
any future operations that I plan on doing. As you can see here, we're docking our first of two storage nodes. I went ahead and didn't record the second one. I didn't think you guys wanted to see that, but I ended up putting this one on the bottom for now, and then eventually realized that the miners there would probably conflict with the solar panels, so I ended up moving both of these storage nodes, brick ethane, uh, to those storage, or uh, I'm sorry, docking ports right underneath the solar panels. Now, while we've been busy with the station uh, and on-orbit operations regarding that, our first miner down to the surface has actually completed its first uh, mining op. We are full of fuel and full of ethane, and uh, this guy is going to go ahead and make its first rendezvous with the station in mirror orbit to uh, resupply the station and empty its payload. Now as we make our final approach to the Keythane Station, uh, I'd like to thank everyone for sticking with us. We've been reading all the subscriber feedback and comments over the last couple months over the summer, and uh, it, I mean it's awesome. I say this every time, but you guys are awesome, and we enjoy doing this uh, and interacting with you. So if there's anything you'd like to see in the future, uh, please by all means throw it in the comments. I'm going to use this setup we have going on here of Keythane to support some uh, longer distance operations to other planets in the Kerbal system. So uh, we have that to look forward to. Uh, thanks again for watching and uh, we'll have more content out as soon as we can. See you guys.